everyone this is hello angel the design today i'm going to show you how i make this beautiful dress as you can see the belt is folded over you can see right here and it has uh, the same fabric on the bottom edge so when you turn the dress it has invisible zip at the back so you can tie the way you want at the back it's not so difficult to make this is how it is if you have not subscribed to my channel please click that subscribe button below and don't forget to click the bell sign so that you'll be notified if you like my tutorial thumbs up make a comment down below and let's get started What you have to do put the bow shoulder on the top together like this and take your pin you pin along make sure when you're putting them together both front are facing each other while the back are facing you You take it to your sewing machine once you're done pinning, stitch the bow shoulder in place. And you also do the same thing on the lining. Put them together, make sure the both front are facing each other like this. And you also pin along. Once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine, stitch the both shoulder in place. Once you have done stitching the both shoulder seam together, put the lining of the, of the top that you're making, put it on top of it like this. As you can see, this is the front of the top. And this is also the front of the lining. So that means the back is facing you. Put it on top like this. Take your pin, pin the arm hole together. Once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine, stitch the both arm hole together. Once you have stitched the both arm hole together, the next thing to do is to understitch the arm hole. So if you're going to do that, you turn the dress inside out like this. So if you're going to understitch the I'm her pull the lining and the male fabric together pull it this way so you give it a very tiny stitch all around the armhole and you place your presser foot and make sure you're very very close to your male fabric very very close Once you're done stitching, this is how it will look. The next thing to do is to stitch the neckline around. So before you do that, from the center back where you're going to attach your zip, measure inside one inch. That is my seam allowance. So I will measure inside one inch already. This is my one inch. You can see my pin is right there. So when I'm going to start stitching, I will start from here all around and end on the other side. And don't forget, if you understitch your armhole, the neckline will be a little bit shift. So this is how it will be. So what you have to do if it's this way, trim a little bit around the neckline and make sure they are the same thing with the lining and then pin it all around 
in take it to your sewing machine stitch it all around so right now i've already trimmed mine so i'm going to just give it the top stitch all around the neckline place your presser foot don't forget always back stitch at the beginning back stitch at the end I have stitched the neckline together this is how it look so the next thing for you to do is to give the top stitch all around the neckline the next thing that you have to do take your skirt to your sewing machine set it to the longest stitch give it a top stitch all around the skirt once you have done that make sure you gather your Get to the size of the waistline of the dress i have gathered the skirt and i also pin it on the top as you can see right here so i will take it to my sewing machine and just give the top stitch all around so go ahead and stitch your skirt that you're making on the top of the dress i have gathered the skirt this is how it is it looks very very beautiful the next thing to do is to close the side seam so I have already pinned my side seam in place so just pull them together like this make sure both arm are facing each other just pin it all around and you come to the other side you do the same thing you pin it all around take it to your sewing machine give the top stitch to the end and you also do the same thing on the other side i have stitched the side seam together this is how it is and i also overlock all the raw edges inside as you can see right here i overlock the waistline and the side seam if you don't have soldier use zigzag to overlock the raw edges so the next thing to do is to attach your zip on the center back so first thing what you have to do measure where your zip is going to end so i will measure nine inches you can make your stand depends on how your, you want the length to be but i will measure nine inches and take a pin just put a mark right there and I will do the same thing on this side. Measure down nine inches. So what you have to do, then you turn your dress inside out like this. And take a pin, pin along. what you have to do take it to your sewing machine start from where the nine inches end stitch it all the way down once you've done with that then you can attach your zip i have stitched the center back from the nine inches that i measure this is where my nine inches end so i stitch all the way down and you can see that i overlock the raw edges that is what i'm going to uh, stitch my zip so if you're going to attach your zip open your zip like this and turn it this way so place it on the fabric the way i'm placing it right now and you take your pin pin along You see the way it is and then you take the second side of the zip you turn it this way and also take your pin pin along once you've done pinning 
the next thing for you to do if you if you know that when you take it to your sewing machine the pins always get on the way usually the way i do it i will just thread my needle as you can see right here i thread my needle first of all use hand stitch to hold the zip on the dress and then take away all the pins then i can take it to my sewing machine and stitch it all along so go ahead and thread your needle still use hand stitch first then you can take it to your sewing machine and stitch along place your presser foot like this and you start to stitch You see the way I'm doing it, use your hand to open the zip so that the needle goes in between. I have stitched the zip in place. This is how it is. The next thing to do is to attach your lining. So turn your dress inside out. like this then take your lining turn it the other way around you see the way it is turn it the other way around and then take a pin pin along When you get closer to the waistline, fold it inside. Fold it inside this way. Then pin it in place. So what you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, give it a top stitch all along and make sure when you're stitching, you stitch across like this and then stitch it all the way to the end and you also do the same thing on the other side i have stitched the lining in place this is how it is you can see how it is very very easy it's not so difficult to make so you can decide to use hand stitch to finish the lining or you can just fold it inside like this and take it to your sewing machine stitch it around the waist line to do is to cut a very long strap a different fabric or the same fabric but if you're using the same fabric there is no need for you to cut a long st strap just hem your dress but if you're going to stitch a different fabric on the bottom edge like this cut a different cut a very long st um, strap and take it to your sewing machine just stitch along so put it on top of the dress like this and take a pin pin along So you just pin it all around the edge and then you take it to your sewing machine, stitch it all around. Once you're done stitching, take it to your iron board, press it very nicely and then turn it again. It will look like this and then give it a top stitch all over again. Once you have done stitching, this is how it will look. It looks very nice and cute. This is how the dress will look. The next thing to do is to stitch your bed that you're going to attach on the waistline. So also do the same thing, cut a very long strap and then cut a diagonal at the end of the fabric. So right now what you have to do, take it to your sewing machine. You can see that I left a gap here. This is where I'm going to turn it inside out. 
stitch it from just leave a gap about 1.5 inch then stitch from there all the way to the end and you also come to this other side stitch it all the way to the end and then turn it inside out take it to your ironing board and press it very nicely and i will show you how to attach it on the waistline once you have done stitching your long strap the next thing to do fold it into two know the center of the fabric and you also come to your dress measure the waistline you also know the center of the waistline then place it on top of it like this and fold this side half an inch fold it inside half an inch just the way i fold it right now then pin this in place make sure when you're pinning you're not or pinning your may uh, your lining make sure you separate your lining and you come to this other end place it this way also pin it in place and you do the same thing on the side pin it in place So what you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, give it a top stitch here, stitch it uh, close to your dress. So when you're stitching, make sure you separate your lining also. Just give it a top stitch here and also give it a top stitch. So this will look like a waistband and you can tie the rest like a bow, depends on you. Or if you want it to be like very uh, more secure, you can give it a top stitch at the center of the top dress. At the center here, you give it a top stitch also. And you fold inside half an inch. So go ahead and stitch that in place and your dress is done. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and don't forget to uh, make a comment down below if you have any question put it on the comment section hope to see you again thank you for stopping by have a beautiful day bye